the way, thanks a lot for coming. My name is Dave Oz, and uh, Devour came out yesterday. Thanks in advance for uh, your support of the record. Play a couple songs, let's hang out. And there's a really Jersey bar three doors down. <laughs> Dancing, drink if you'd like You sit back and take notes It's a fine night to test what you know Who you fear, who you love And who you cling to for oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh There's a strange stifling smell in the air Cigarette smoke perfume A tinge of despair I guess we should
having sex and passing with girls. You wish you could for yourself, leave the rest behind. It's freedom forever till your car gets declined. And we roar right through our twenties. Never bargain for a crash. Watch all our dreams get buried under heaps of plastic and trash. awkward. <laughs> I was just thinking, uh, when I was walking over here from, from said weird perverted bar, um, that I forgot that the rest of New Jersey even exists because I spend all my time either in Bradley or, or, or Asbury. Anybody come from there? Other than the known culprits? There's other parts of New Jersey, right? Like which town? Like Fords. <laughs> no? Just the beach? In my mind, it's just the beach. One big, beautiful, combed beach. Like, for instance, what part of New Jersey are you from, ma'am? I'm from The top. The top. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? I think she's spoken for, though. <laughs> but it could be a match, man. <laughs> the night's young. <laughs> you know? Anybody else? Anybody else got a county? Have you heard of touching? What? Have I heard of touching? Oh, yes. I've heard of touching, yeah. <laughs> Everybody says that. No, I live in Matachin. Oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> yeah, I speed past that at top speeds to get to New York City, Philly. Oh, you don't like to be there? No, oh, I hate it. Why do you hate it? it? I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> Is it terrible? Yes. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows everybody. And they pass judgment on each other. And when you were like 12, you know, like I was like, oh, I don't want to be with you. Yeah. And then you get to like 25. I just made a whole record about a dark time in my life. <laughs> so believe me, I can feel your pain. But here's one thing. You look relatively young. I'm gonna guess about like 13 years old. Between 13 and 25. <laughs> and I will say this, no matter where you go, as, as fast as you try to run, you'll get to a new place where everybody knows everybody. Everyone is clocked to everybody. And you cannot outrun the fucked up shit that, that life brings you. So this, your Uncle Dave is now giving you wise. <laughs> But fun can still be had. Okay, so that's the, everyone gets the lesson, right? It's getting real heavy here real fast. <laughs> this song is for 
Autism Vaccine Blues. It's uh, for all the other weird piss drinkers. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, oh, thank you. Give him this tip. This is warm. Room temperature piss. You should give him this one. It's thank cold. you, sir. No, this is wonderful. No, it's just, it's just the color, color of that one I was commenting on. <laughs> you guys want to hear a funny story? Yeah. Okay, so I texted uh, my buddy Alex, who plays in Gaslight Anthem. Yeah. Yep, everyone loves them. Tonight, I said, hey, you coming to Vintage Vinyl? Because, I mean, Red Bank's not that far, right? Okay. So, you'd think you'd come. Right? He said, no, can't make it, man. I'm in a meeting. I'm, I'm, into, uh, I'm, I'm into a new investment. I'm opening a Jimmy John's. <laughs> and so, you know, you've heard it here first. Alex from Gas. <laughs> is opening a sandwich shop. Jersey. I love that so fucking much. Because you know, like, somewhere along the line, his teacher told him, like, you'll never amount to anything. You're a little shit. And now he's opening up a fucking sandwich shop. <laughs> I like that. Maybe he'll give me a free sandwich. Dead collectors won't leave me alone. I got a cricket. 
looking for a conscience Can't you away, got the blood of the wind All over my doorway, you know Oh no, oh no Oh no, oh no, oh no That little pill made me well Now I feel everything I hear doubting Thomas In the song that he sings I see the screens we worship And the holes they don't fill And the sweat on her neck Is how I know I can kill Oh no
I want to thank uh, Vintage Vinyl for setting this thing up. Thank you to... Uh, Very kind of them to have us in here uh, on a, whatever time it is, Wednesday, right? Cool. A lot of uh, fabulous people have played here, it turns out. Give it up for them. Vintage vinyl, everybody. We could be kings, and it's uh, it was weird today. I walked out of my sister's house, I went to visit my little niece who's three, and she likes to talk about peeing on the couch. And you know, like she slaps her brother upside the head, it's just total fun. I get her wound up, and then I leave. So my sister has to deal with it, but uh, it was rad. I walked out of the house and put the radio on, and this song was on the radio, which was a really weird thing. <laughs> Before I've never put the radio on and heard a song that I made up on my 
couch turn up. So it was a weird day. It was cool. And this is that song. Turning blue 
I know uh, it's Wednesday, and, and there's other things you could do, so thanks for spending your time here. Thanks for buying the record. I do appreciate it. Um, it's cool that there's still a record store somewhere in America that has good taste and employees and things uh, to sell that people come in and buy. That's, it's like, uh, I don't know, it seems almost like an antique shop to me. And I mean that with all due respect. I mean. This is the way that I always consume music as a kid. So it's nice to, to come to a place where that still happens. So give it up one more time for Vintage Rock. And uh, let's see, what else? What's that? Uh, oh, the lanes. We're playing at the lanes. In January. I figure you can go to the home for the holidays thing, right? Yeah. Everyone's gonna go to that. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll make your resolutions for the year and say like, oh, I'm not gonna have any more pizza or booze or cocaine. And, uh, and right around, I think it's like the 21st or 2nd, you'll be ready to like give that up and be like, fuck this gym membership. <laughs> I want a piece of pizza and I want to have a beer. Or you might be still with it and I would I would be very impressed. But if you want to fall off the wagon, it would be a great thing to do <laughs> at the lanes on the 23rd. Okay? 
Or we could talk about how well you're doing with your New Year's resolution to not have pizza. <laughs> Thank you. See you next time.